as you remember with La Cocha, is the metaphysical god of the Andes. What's the meaning of that? There is a process of evolution of the system of religious beliefs. And usually you start, uh, you start with the totemistic religions, then you have the polytheistic religions, in which the top god usually is the sun. Then beyond that is a point of the evolution of the human spirit in which you are capable to perceive the metaphysical factor which is beyond, beyond the reality. And this is the discovery of the metaphysical God which happened in Israel with uh, Moses who discovered Yahweh in uh, Greece when Heraclitus of Ephesus who discovered uh, the universal logos, etc., etc. But he, here happened with one of the Inca, which was the uh, eighth king of the little kingdom of Cusco. Uh, he went to a hill, which is next to Cusco, and uh, he revealed, received the revelation of this metaphysical god. And, uh, of course, in Quechua he called him Huiracocha. And then, the last emperor before the civil war, which was Huayna Capac Inca, built this temple to Huiracocha. Uh, as you see, it's a very big building. It's the biggest Inca temple in the area. And uh, interesting is how this was a covered temple. All the others are, are open. When we speak about the Ushnu in the center of the army square, for example, the square in himself was a, a, a temple that was open. And almost all the ritual and spiritual places of the Incas were open. This temple was closed. What you are seeing, is the central wall and uh, there were this set of pillars or columns there is one over there who remains and uh, there were walls on the two sides and these walls were walls with niches to post maybe icons etc and the whole thing was uh, was covered by a roof and this was the support of the center of the roof and the roofs come to the two sides okay as you can see the temple is integrated by two parts which is related with what yanan the whole temple is a yanan okay and All the other temples are going to be in the same structure. You are going to see how all follow this structure of Yanan. Anyway, being the temple of the metaphysical God, this is the highest sacred place in all ancient America. It's like the temple in Je of Jerusalem in the, uh, in the old world because this is the only temple who was dedicated for first time to the metaphysical God. Then, which was the function of this place? This place was related with something very important. Uh, when I say Huiracocha built this temple, it's because he made the renewal of the place. Huayna Capa. But before of them, the temple was here from the times of, uh, of Huiracocha. Huiracocha, Pachacuti, Topa, Inca, and Huayna Capa. And uh, la fun the function was related with the selection of the new ruler, the successor of the ruler. How it happened? Uh, the Incas has a system of 12 parallel royal lineages, which means 
uh, the system was quite different than the European royalties, in which there were only one uh, royal lineage from every country. Here we have 12 parallel lineages. And every lineage was ruled by a woman. And uh, the name of this woman were the Mamakuna, the big mothers. And uh, uh, every panaka has the function to prepare and choose one candidate to become an Inca. Then, when the election was necessary, every panaka choose the best young man he has in everything and submit these 12 candidates to the election. And then a huge procession of the Inca nobility come from Cusco to here and they stay here to elect the successor of the Inca. Apparently they come together uh, as uh, the, what is the Capacuna. Capacuna means the royalty. Mm -hmm. And the whole, the, the chronicles say how the whole Capacuna came in in a, a como se dice, una pomposa procesión. Procesión. Mm -hmm. In a, in a proce large procession. Of course, not only the royalty, the servants, the helpers, etc. Uh, and the Inca in himself, of course. Then they arrive here, and you are going to see their 12 secondary temples. Every panaka occupies one temple and perform ritual to empower his candidate. When they feel they are ready, make a ritual of unity here. The 12 panakas become together in this temple. In the main temple of Iracocha. Yeah. And then they went to the earth of the sanctuary and they submit the 12 candidates to Wiracocha. And Wiracocha is supposed to touch one and make it flow. And this is going to be the successor of the Inca. Well, what is interesting here is how apparently Pachacuti, the Enlightened, developed a system and built a social system of selection to create, to generate one enlightened in every generation. If you take a look of the phenomenon of the enlightenment in the world, probably Pachacuti was the only who was success to invent a way to reproduce his level in every generation. And apparently, unfortunately, it ends with Huayna Capa, because uh, uh, he and his successor get killed and uh, broke the continuity of that. Any questions? <laughs>